Friends, Brian here for Yes You Can Play Guitar, and last week I heard the craziest news. The craziest news wasn't that it was my 25th birthday, <laughs> but the craziest news was there's this metal band from South Africa, and apparently they're fairly popular. They play at some big festivals, they've been around for some time, and the singer viciously attacked the drummer, really hurting him, I guess. I'm not going to say what they were saying his intentions were, but uh, hurt him pretty bad. And, uh, you know, sometimes there's a lot of tensions in bands. You know, when I first read it, I wanted to tell you guys some stories, do a video of some times where I almost lost it playing in bands where it was like time to get a little bit rowdy. But I'm, uh, I said, no, Brian, be the better person. Keep it positive. Would you guys like to hear my crazy stories? If you ever want to hear my crazy band stories, go to my guitar Patreon community. It's part of it, okay? I'm not going to talk about that stuff here, okay? Guitar community. Not my reaction community. Although I might post some juicy tidbits there, but my Patreon guitar community. But anyway, the band is called Volvo Dyna. Now, I don't know about you, I always thought a Volvo was a car and a Volvo was a part of the female anatomy. But I've never seen or heard this band before, so I thought, you know what, let's do the next best thing. Let's just do a reaction to them. Let's find a nice live video of them and uh, go from there. So, Volvo Dynia. Okay, so we are going to do a reaction of them playing in Montreal and... T Montreal Metal Channel, I check out. They've got some good live footage usually. And let's just see what's going on. But apparently the singer is kicked out of the band for good. This wasn't their first issue with him. Okay, let's check it out. Let's pick it up, Montreal. We want to see some fucking brutality. Bass player looks like he's dressed up in a rabbit suit or something. What the hell is going on with that? I wonder what club that is in Montreal. Fairmont, the theater Fairmont in Montreal. I have not, although I've been to Montreal many times, I've seen bands there, but I've not been to the Fairmont. Great town for a good metal show, I must tell you. Montreal loves its metal. Very interesting dance moves. It looks like the, the guitar players, is it a Strandberg guitar? They're really popular right now with a lot of metal bands. I did a reaction about a year ago to a cool Brazilian band that apparently, I don't even know if they're still together, called, is it Vitalism? They were using those guitars, but you see them a lot now. They're quite popular. They remind me a bit of the Steinberger guitars that were popular in the late 80s. Vito Brada from White Lion played one, but uh, without, you know, the headstock on it. They have very interesting uh, stage moves. I can tell you, I could not do that. I'd probably throw out my back now at my age. That is so cool. He can do that and do his riffs at the same time. Now, he's not using a wireless unit. So if I was to attempt dance moves like that, which I wouldn't at my age now. Uh, I'd need my defibrillator on a backpack behind me. But uh, I probably wouldn't be doing that with a cable there. Uh, as sooner or later, that's tempting fate. There could be some trouble there. But that would be a good situation where you'd want to get a good wireless unit.
Here. Bro, what is up with the bass player in that weird suit with the yellow patch cord? That is just slightly odd. It's different. Probably going to bring some attention to the band. You know, like the singer trying to kill the drummer, but... Uh... <laughs> Says the song is featuring Clean Salter. I'm assuming that's the the girl on the left here. Uh, okay, now Montreal is a big market for metal bands, man. You even talk you talk to some of the top metal bands in the world. They're probably going to say we love playing Montreal because it's a big market and they love their metal. Um, except for the dude's dance moves, which were impressive to watch. And that how does he do that kind of way? Uh, not really doing anything for me so far, okay? Let's see, I think they must be doing another song here. Okay, if you don't know what a wall of death is in metal lingo, uh, check out my video. I must have posted about a year ago. I talked about Exodus, one of my favorite bands, where they did the wall of death at that big... <laughs> Very memorable with Rob Dukes when he was with their, their lead singer. With <laughs> yeah, check that video out where I talk in detail about the wall of death, okay? <laughs> Cool harmonic in that riff. Probably these guys might have liked um, Machine Head back in the day. Hey, what's interesting here, this guitar player, he did his lead, but now he's doing a bit of a slap and pop, uh, which you don't see a lot in metal bands, but uh, okay.
Friends, I often said about this channel is that the world is going crazy, but at least we still have music. So, you know, we can come here, keep it positive. We can agree to disagree. We can talk. We can talk, okay? Um, first and foremost, I hope the drummer's okay. He got really messed up. Probably having to tolerate uh, uh, an unpredictable violence band member is probably not fun. I mean, I can tell you guys stories, uh, but I'm going to save those for my guitar community Patreon, as I mentioned. But, um, you know, for all the people that are in bands and I don't want them to make my mistake, I can give them my mistakes, I can give them advice. I'm going to save it for that. But first and foremost, I hope the drummer's okay. If, if there's a GoFundMe link, if he needs for medical expenses, you know, the Volvo Dynia fans out there, let me know and I'll post it in the description box. Uh, I'm going to be fair to the band. You could tell that there was some talent there, but, you know, with the... You know, it was a moving camera. We're picking up audio going all over the place. Some of the solo parts sounded interesting. I totally didn't get the dude in the bunny suit hopping around with the yellow patch cord. Why would you want to do that at a metal concert, man? It's already going to be super hot if you're in a t-shirt and shorts. I couldn't imagine how hot he must have been. He must have been, ugh. I don't get that. Didn't really, you know, certain death metal vocalists I can I can get into and I get. Couldn't quite get that guy too much. Um, you know, I like Corpse Grinder from uh, Cannibal Corpse or, you know, Will Ramos from uh, Lorna Shore is phenomenal at what he does. This didn't really capture me, but I got to be fair to the band. It was like a moving video camera playing live. There, There's obviously some talent there, but uh, apparently the singer is no more. And as he should not be, as, uh, you know, well, if you start randomly attacking band members, it's kind of hard to keep a band and a business uh, flowing in those circumstances. So, uh, but I do know that the Volvo Dynia fans will come out and they'll comment and they'll tell me, give me some links to their best live performances. You guys know I prefer doing live uh, reactions. You know, sometimes I'll do the audio ones, but I prefer watching the band, really seeing the dynamics, seeing them play. So again, I hope the drummer's okay. And that was Volvo Dynia. Um, my verdict is I'm just going to leave the door open to do another reaction to maybe uh, better audio of uh, performance of, with has better audio. And uh, that was kind of moving around. But it was in Montreal, which is uh, cool. So that is that. So remember, folks, keep the comments and suggestions coming. Check out if you're a guitar player, you're playing in bands, you're interested in all that stuff, check out my guitar community. Just like reactions, you can check out my reaction community Patreon. And remember, practice hard, practice smart, no excuses, and we'll see you soon.